Hello, my name is Justin Neal, and I'm the owner of Look Great Boot Camps. Locally here in Chanhassen, Minnesota, I run weight loss and fitness boot camps. I also run a boot camp online called Online Video Boot Camp, which reaches a worldwide audience. Okay? Today I want to provide you a special video. One of my boot campers here in Chanhassen uh, is in Ski Patrol. He's been in it for a number of years. And he has been with me for a few months now in my Look Great at the Lake Boot Camp in Chanhassen. And he's seen phenomenal results. In fact, he actually made a comment the other day that uh, it, he's, he's about 10 pounds away from his, I think his high school, is either high school or college weight. Um, 1969 was the year. So great job, Gary. You're doing great. Um, this guy's an animal. He's got killer control. He's fast. Um, I, I could just imagine him swishing down the slopes. Now, he asked me if I would put together a special video that really kind of geared a workout towards skiers. He was disappointed in the fact that when he would search online, specifically YouTube, looking for videos that were geared towards ski fitness, didn't really find a whole lot. So I said, absolutely, I'd love to do that. In fact, our workouts really do have an incredible impact on athletes in general, especially uh, about an athlete that requires uh, balance stability and control because we do a lot of functional movements in our training. Endurance is also a big part of what we do with our high intensity interval training. Okay, And then the big one would probably be the incorporation or the integration of the lower body core and upper body into just about every movement that we do. We don't do single isolation movements. We combine the lower core and upper body together to work as one functional unit. And in athletics, that's critical. When you think about skiing, you know, three things that you told me we need to look at is we need to look at balance, okay? I think that's a pretty obvious one. Edge control, and then rotary, or the ability to really, uh, you know, obviously move around rotary axis and have control of that, again, upper, core, and lower body all working together. So, what I've done today for, you, for, for Gary and for you, if you're an avid skier, uh, or if you're in the ski patrol watching this, is I put together a classic 50-10 5 exercise circuit. Great uh, circuit for endurance. It's 50 seconds of working as hard as you can on a particular exercise. You'll rest transition for 10 seconds, not a whole lot of time, into your second exercise for another 50 seconds. And you're going to do that for a total of 5 exercises. At the end of that 5 minutes, you can take a break if you need it. Okay, 30 seconds to as high as 2 minutes depending on your current fitness level. And you're going to repeat that circuit up to 4 times for 20 total minutes. Now as you get more fit, the idea is to just continuously go round and round with actually no break for 20 straight minutes. High intensity, high endurance, major metabolic blast. When you're done with this workout, your metabolism is going to go through the roof and you're going to melt pounds of fat off your body. That's another purpose of this particular workout. So the exercise that I chose today I just want to use body weight. Uh, in my boot camps, I use body weight and resistance bands. Okay? If you don't have the resistance band, the very specific type of resistance band that I use, I want to be able to provide you with a workout that's just body weight. So, here we go. We've got body weight squats. A lot of different ways we can do a body weight squat. Okay? If you're brand new to this, we're just going to go with a simple reach squat. It's going to help with the balance. Okay? Right here. You can go to a prisoner squat, put your hands behind your head, chest up, shoulders back. Or you can go to a Y squat right here, keeping that back straight, pulling those shoulders down and back. We're going to crank out as many of those as we can for 50 seconds. Then we're going to go to a mountain climber push-up. We're going to work some push muscles, we're going to incorporate the lower body and the core into it. So what does that look like? I get down to a push-up position, okay, and get over here, hands are right next to the chest, elbows are tucked in, pop myself up. Okay, now push-up is simply down and up. Or if you're doing it from your knees, down and up. We're not going to nose dive. We're going to lean with our belly button and our sternum together. Okay? A mountain climber push-up looks like this. I'm going to step up. I'm bringing this foot right next to this hand. Okay? And I come back. And I step it up. And I do a push-up. Okay? Mountain climber push-up. Now, there's different ways you can do it. You can climb up with the right, come back down, do a push-up. Up with the left, come back down, do a push-up. Okay? You can do more push-ups that way. Or, if you're not as strong or don't have the endurance, climb, climb, push-up. Climb, climb, push-up. Okay? Just like so. The third exercise, we're going to target lower body, we're looking at edge control, and we're going to balance. Okay? We spend a lot of time in our daily life on one foot. Okay? Skiing, while you're on two feet, you're very often shifting the weight from one foot to the other. Okay? Edge control is key. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a single leg arm reach, leg, leg arm reach, okay? So I'm going to have you just go up on one leg, balance. Now, this might be enough for some folks, okay? If you're a skier, this is probably pretty simple. Okay, I'm going to have you go into a running position. So my left foot is up, my left knee is up, my right arm is up, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simultaneously reach my leg and my arm out at the same time. See that balance? And I'm going to come back to center. I'm going to come out and come back to center. I'm going to do that as many times with control as I can in 50 seconds. A more advanced person would do all 50 seconds. Next time around would switch legs. A more beginner person would do half the time right, half the time left. Next up, total body extension. We look at the core, okay? We really got to look at 360 degrees. We have to look all the way around. We have to look at the back. We have to look at the tie into the glutes. We have to look at the tie into the shoulder blades. Really important. So total body extension, we're going to lay face down. We can have our hands down here, right by our sides. We're going to lift our shoulders and our feet up at the same time and come back down. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, squeezing those glutes. A more advanced version would be out here in a T, okay? And the most advanced would be up here, what we call a Y. Thumbs up, like so. And again, cranking out as many reps as you possibly can. The last exercise we're going to do is a lower body twist, okay? We're going to lay back. We're going to tuck the hands under the hips for a little bit of support. Knees bent will be an easier version. Straight leg will be a more difficult version. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come down side to side, okay? Now those hands are there to kind of stop how far you go. If you have some lower back issues, those hands are going to prevent how far you can move. Now, if you don't have any issues, you're a little more advanced, you can put those hands out to the side here, where I can go all the way down, all the way around. Watch out for the wall, <laughs> okay? And really going to hammer that core, working again, that rotary motion that Gary was looking for, all right? So those are the exercises I'm going to give you for today. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a workout, okay? This is going to be a two-part video because I want to keep it short. So this was just the description of what we're doing. I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to come back and take you through the actual workout for five minutes. Right with the music, with me, you can do the workout. So give me a second, and I'll see you for the workout.